And so I come upon my biggest challenge to reach the world. Every single one of you. What I saw on the moon up in space, the world deserves to know what is up there. We're not alone. And I believe in what I'm doing. And I believe in the people helping me and following me. The moon's inhabited. There are secrets out there that the world deserves to know about. And I'm going to bring that to them. Hey guys, I'm happy to see everyone made it to this video. We have a brand new 14 inch telescope on the way. Something happened, it cost me a lot more than I thought. It cost me $11,497.99. Uh, why? Because uh, the price he had given me was without taxes. Smart. Anyway, I was the dumb one maybe not to realize that it was like $11,000. But uh, I got it anyways. I got the $1,500 more that I needed and I was able to contribute to the fund by getting the telescope. But uh, we got ourselves an amazing telescope. We got the $1,400. CGXL 1400 Edge HD. I paid $1,500 for two letters for the HD. Um, higher definition that we're going to need absolutely if we're going to be on the surface of the moon and other celestial objects, but we're going to start off at the moon and we're going to be able to get in uh, close. You see, I need definition. With the definition in my photos and my technique, I lose definition and I often have a blurry or faded out photo. Now with a lot more definition inside of the telescope, um, the HD that I paid $1,500 for, it's worth it guys, think of it. So the CGXL, it's $10,000, the telescope, uh, plus tax in Canada. And check it out if you want guys online, I'll show you the bill. I bought it from Celestron directly in California, $9,999 without any options. That's what it costs, but we got ourselves a 14 inch telescope. Um, I have to give a special thanks to all website contributors, to everyone that comes here uh, in the community, that comments, that uh, helps me, that uh, you know, every contribution that you guys do uh, is helping this channel get ahead. I have a lot of plans for this channel. I'd love to be doing this full time in one year, so uh, the more the merrier. They say three weeks to get the telescope. Give or take, I'm pretty sure it might, will take two and a half weeks probably for sure, but I'm not gonna say a word. I'm gonna say what they told me here in Canada. It's coming directly from California, obviously. And then when it gets here, I have to save, um, save up a couple of bucks and I'll go get a truck. It's big. It's not gonna fit my car. I didn't think of that. And just the lens box is, uh, looks like a fridge box so and this uh, the telescope is 200 over 200 pounds the CGXL 1400 edge telescope it's high tech uh, we're talking 3900 focal length and the one I have take a look over here this over here is my the telescope I, I usually use and it's my little Celestron I say little now Celestron telescope but it's a very good telescope and it's a 1500 millimeter telescope. So if I take off the end and for you to show you, I'm doing my technique and getting everything on the moon with a lens this size, four inches. It really is a four inch lens. It's a beautiful telescope. I was very careful with it. Never banged it, never damaged it. So this telescope is gonna be standby. This is an amazing telescope. I'm not gonna get rid of it, that's for sure. I paid about $1,100 for this telescope. It's a um, 127 SLT Max Pseudo um, uh, computerized star finding telescope by Celestron. Now, what I do is at the back of my telescope. Now, if you look here at the back of my telescope, what I'm using, oh, I'm sorry, I have all the wires here. I use a simple camera, okay? Because, of course, I will update this telescope so that the back uh, of the camera will be a big camera here on the back of the telescope. So at the back of my telescope is the next image five. And people often don't understand, you know, how the telescopes operate. Well, in general, I could stick an eyepiece in here. And this is what people do is these options here, like I'll show you, I'll take this off. 
you take this off well the eyepiece is that simple just sits in the end of the telescope and that will give you you know the view at the front of your telescope but I take the diagonal off there's a, a mirror here with an edge I take it off and this is all it is guys this is a solar imager see how small it is to give you an idea it just literally sits in the palm of my hands and this once screwed on screw it on you put it inside the telescope now here's the thing when you're filming the moon if you want to change the moon angle you can turn it any way you want so in general be sure to get it the right angle so you're not screwed up yourself thinking you're seeing the top and not the bottom and then you screw it in like so very simple you stick it in the back of the telescope and that way you're ready now to plug yourself into your computer once your next image 5 is all hooked up to your computer and you start recording what you're going to do is you're going to choose the zoom length and the focal length on your computer 20 zoom 30 times 40 times 50 times zoom and what you're going to do is when you come back here and you see what you're filming this is the dial uh, people are asking me I'm, I'm sorry I want to take the time to tell everyone you know how it's done because I didn't know I had to learn it myself and this is the knob that you turn the dial to be able to get it in focus this is not to zoom it's to get it in focus so it's that simple I have my eye right here beside to be able to uh, guide me right here laser eyes so that I can see the moon just to be sure that I'm on the moon and you're ready to go these uh, telescopes have to be calibrated when you uh, buy them so that it's uh, it's a simple three-step calibration that you do upon setup you write in your proper time zones and uh, that's what that's all you have to do just underneath the lens and the uh, whole kit on top here you have the GPS and this is what's underneath the GPS what gives you the our star information and the deep space information you have here since it's computerized a very handy tool while you're operating your telescope which is just basically you know you can pan at any rate or speed so that you can pan down slow or fast but again when you're panning with this and you have this in your hand it's it's really you know it's on the telescope don't even think of it it's going to jump so you need a, a certain way to block this from moving and leave this loose here and just gently move around with the telescope but this telescope is an amazing telescope guys i had so much fun with this telescope so in general guys I owe you all a great big thank you for what's coming, what's about to come. And now it's my turn to do some amazing jobs for you guys. I'm going to catch everything that's up on the moon in great clarity. I've always wanted to be able to view the moon. There are many channels doing it, yes, but they're not close enough. So I can't thank you guys enough for the beautiful comments, for the support, the website contributors, I love you guys. It's amazing. So we are going to get the telescope. The telescope is ordered. We're going to get a big mama telescope coming right here to Canada from California, which is going to take three weeks. I know we have no choice. You know, it's maybe it'll take less. Maybe it'll take less than three weeks. You know, I offered them to pay a couple of dollars more to get it uh, delivered earlier. He said that, that wasn't an option. Then I asked him if I give you money. <laughs> I mean, I tried everything, guys, but still, it's on its way. And I'm pretty happy it is. I'm happy that um, the site is still going to grow. So the moon, the sun. For those asking me, I saw in comments, I'll get to them tomorrow. Uh, people are asking me, uh, are you going to do the sun? Are you going to do the sun? Every chance I get. When it's raining, I do the photos I've gathered on the sun, the footage I haven't seen yet. I'm always filming when I get home for lunch or something like that. It's the it's rolling. The camera's outside rolling. I have a, a filter on the end of a, a good camera. And I also have an Astromaster 70 millimeter telescope, a cheapy, a good cheapy Celestron telescope that I put my sun filter on it. So 70 millimeters with a sun filter, perfect, really good. And it, it gets me the asteroids, it gets me the meteors, and it gets me the crafts. That's what we need to do. Now, maybe in the future, we'll zoom in to be able to see the details on the crafts. And with the telescope I have, you know, we're talking hey, over 200 pounds, 3,900 focal length. I have a bar log, I'm going to stick that up its butt. 
and I'm going to stick the next image five on it and the money in my events.com that I will be gathering the first moment I get enough money I will stick a big mama camera in its butt the telescope is going to be perfect and set for the rest of the year it's already ready and the next image five that I have here well we're just going to take that one right there so that's not a problem you know uh, if it's just a matter of getting a camera for a couple of hundreds I should manage that but the 4k monitor also I'm going to be needing there's a bunch of stuff that I want to get here so that I can be able to present you guys something absolutely amazing you won't believe it it'll be incredible and um, I'm looking forward to it I'll give you guys an update the minute I get the telescope thanks so darn much um, hey WSO YouTube channel I've been interacting with him um, you know he interacted with me he talked to me first hello Bruce we have to do an interview and stuff and I got a couple of interviews and in. he's very busy right now I'm sure we're gonna get a couple of more interviews in in the future and I'm gathering information to show uh, him about what I'm getting and this is what he's doing with other channels so you know check him out WSO YouTube channel uh, I would have talked to him for nothing if he wouldn't have been trying to help humanity this is what most of the channels that are doing trying to show what's up there in space and it's just something incredible guys the moon is inhabited you know as hard as it is to to believe that I can say it without even feeling bad or without smirking or without feeling like I'm nuts because it is uh, the fact that nobody is understanding that and believing that I accept that and I'm not going to force anyone to do it, to believe it but my videos will be there and they're gonna get a lot better a lot more clear structures have been found we have the proof walls have been found structuring has been found piping has been found uh, many channels have found pipes on the surface you know you go on techno thanks YouTube channel and he has a nice picture in the palm of his hands and you should look at it take a serious look at the photo that's there he knows the wise ones will and there's a pipe coming out of the structure techno thanks YouTube channel there's a structure and it's the structuring that we're finding on many of the planets, you know, so you got to check it out. So guys, thanks a lot. I'm going to do another moon video now with my four inch telescope. I got great footage of the north side of the moon and I'm going to do it right now. Thanks a lot. I love you all and updates coming up. We got it. We did it. There's a description right there. CGXL 1400 Edge HD Telescope. There's the project product number. It was paid with Visa because now it was a lot more than I thought. So eleven thousand five hundred for uh, you'll see the exact amount. So here it is: prix du de détail, la quantité et le total, ten thousand dollars on top before tax, and it comes up to eleven thousand four hundred ninety-seven and ninety-nine four ninety-eight. Like I said, and here the due balance is zero dollars because I paid it so now we just wait